Good morning, Dr. Sherwu. First, morning. good morning. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day to be here and talk to us about this very important topic uh, that Adventist Health is going to be leading, which is uh, the integration or bridging the gap between medicine and dentistry. And so, um, I'd like to start off by you know asking what your thoughts are on the importance of a child's dental health in connection to their overall well-being and their overall health. Thank you very much. Um, I'm honored to be here and talking about this. I think since dental has come to this site, we're really excited. Mm. I think uh, we can see the merger like between the medicine and dental and it's really growing well. So yeah, I mean like I would say definitely oral hygiene is a very important part for any kid's growth and development. And even starting with the basic nutrition, if with little kids, they, if they or even like, you know, till they get in their adolescence too, if they have any poor oral hygiene, if they have like pain, if they have any infections that leads to eating less or, you know, different kind of foods and that causes the poor nutrition and ca can cause even poor immunity. And that is an important part in their growth. So I would say that's one thing. Other thing, as these kids grow, if they have a continuously having poor oral hygiene, infections, they miss a lot of time schools. So that also affects their academic performance. And I would say when the kids have even bad breath or are always complaining of pain, infections, I think there's a difficult in attention, concentration, and even some self-esteem. So in the long term, it can also lead to the mental health issues like anxieties and self-esteem issues in the growing kids. So I think overall, whether it's physical health, whether it's mental health, uh, whether it's nutritional health, overall in the growth and development, oral hygiene plays a very important role. Thank you. Uh, you brought up a lot of good topics. There is a tie to every um, part of a, a child's well-being. And it is the number one reason why children miss days at school. It's because of tooth pain, they need to make a dental appointment and get in to be seen. Um, one thing you brought up was nutrition, and uh, I think that's often uh, missed and in, 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 uh, patients or patients, parents are not educated enough about is baby bottle carry. So can you speak a little bit about the importance of uh, nutrition on an, in an early on yeah. stage? Oral care should start as soon as the baby is born. I know babies don't have teeth, but, patient, but parents can always wipe their gums you know, after they have this formula or breast milk or maybe before going to the bed after. So I think that will help preventing the caries in the future and maybe, you know, maintaining hygiene of the bottles too. And secondly, after they are six months old, you know, once they start having even the first eruption of the tooth, that should be, parents should, you know, that focus on maybe having the dental appointments as soon as they, even one tooth has erupted and maybe start with like, you know, uh, fluoride toothpastes as soon as they have the eruption, maybe at least, you know, going twice a day, going with the toothpaste and getting at least dental appointment once a year. I think that can help for the long term, preventing any caries, any chronic infections and these uh, chronic issues with the uh, with their teeth. Absolutely. And, and with baby ball caries, of course, not putting juice in the bottle, yes. which is probably the number one reason why patients or babies are getting, getting these the caries kids. early on. How do you think dentists and uh, pediatricians can better collaborate or make a stronger connection? I think definitely when these kids come for our well child visits, I think when they come for a well child, especially the kids who are six months above and have already an eruption of tooth, I think definitely before leaving the office, pediatricians like us should we all should encourage them to have a month like you know an, a dental appointment and maybe you know we can coordinate with the dental hey we have this well child let's schedule them in maybe in a week or two weeks for their dental appointment so if the if all the kids who are coming there for well child visits leave the office with a dental appointment i think that ways we could merge well between dentists and the pediatricians and i think that would be also a better care for all the pediatric population, like as they are getting their well child visit, they're getting their dental visit. So I think that way, if we make that effort to try to, you know, try to talk to the patients, talk to the, like talk to the parents and see if we can convince them. And, you know, and I think most of the parents, when you give them all the education, they are, they know, like they are, I think it's, it's really now parents are also getting aware of these dental problems. So I think maybe giving them those dental appointments can be helpful. And sometimes maybe, you know, if they come there and we have, we don't have much patients, maybe offering them, hey, you know what, we have a, maybe we can get you 
in today for a dental appointment. I think Absolutely. maybe taking these kind of efforts might help us getting a better coordination with the uh, dentistry and the pediatricians. Well, I agree. I agree. Um, it's it's we have to go one step beyond being just under the same roof, you know, and that's with constant communication and collaborating. Um, well, lastly, I want to ask you about the if you could talk about the importance of fluoride. Uh, and its prevention in dental cavities. Is that something that's often talked about or patients or patients' parents ask about? Do I we think, need to get this done? Yeah, I think definitely it also matters which states we are there, where, how, what kind of water we are drinking, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of states, they already have a fluoridinated water enough, you know? And a lot of the states we lack. So definitely our area, definitely we lack fluoride. So our here we encourage parents to give the fluoride and we tell them, hey, we don't have that much fluoride in the water. Maybe somewhere else where there is, they might not need. But definitely in our area, we don't want to have this, you know, uh, caries because it will help prevent when we give these fluoride. And we don't want to give the over fluoride also. But definitely we want to talk to them about and we encourage them that, hey, this is an area deficient in this. So if you have fluoride in the toothpaste, that will help preventing these dental caries. And long-term infections and, you know, affect chronic health. Yeah. I agree. I agree. And, um, you know, with, with children, the more we collaborate, if we can get them in early to be seen at a very early age, the more comfortable they're going to become yes. seeing the dentist. So as early as that first tooth eruption at six, exactly months, six months, have them come in. It's a quick, fun visit. Yes. And we see them every six months after yes. that. I think that definitely, probably, it's just an extra step when we are already under one roof. Maybe just seeing that, you know, as a well, if we are, they're coming for well child visits or they're coming for any visits, just encouraging them and maybe, you know, they leave the office with some appointments. I think that will be really helpful for uh, the patient population, pediatric population. Yeah. yeah, I agree. It'll increase, improve access, uh, it should decrease costs of health care, and overall will yeah. lead to a healthier yeah. Yeah. child. So yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. Thank Are there you any very questions? Much. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Yeah. I think it's a great pleasure to have you on our team. I think with whether it's pediatric, adult population, everybody, I, I feel like uh, a good coordination between dentistry and medicine will really be very helpful for the patient in this area. I think patients, are, patients will really get a better overall health care. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much.